So today I wanted to take time to go over 10 films that I think that you might like to um, take time to watch. Um, these all feature different kinds of moms. Um, these films are the ones that stood out as I was going through my, con I went through my entire collection trying to find the films that I think had some good examples of different types of moms. Um, so first up, we have A Home of Our Own. This right here stars Kathy Bates. Now this one is about a woman who is a widow who is trying to raise her six kids in Los Angeles, isn't doing a very good job, having a really hard time. So she um, packs up and they move out to Idaho. And um, just a really good story about trying to build that family life together. So I think you would really enjoy this one. Next up, we have The Cure. Um, this right here is about two young, I think 11 year old boys. One, um, played by Brad Ren Renfro, is um, struggling at home, doesn't have a very good home life. His um, mother is kind of strict, trying to raise him on her own without the father around, and isn't doing a very good job. But he does befriend his next-door neighbor who was sick with AIDS, um, played really well by this character, by this actor here from Jurassic Park. And... Um, I don't know, it's just a really good story. You can see the differences between the two moms. The sickly boy's mom is very attentive, um, wants to make her son happy, um, knows that he's struggling and may not be around too long. And so she she is a really good mom compared to the other boy's mom. And it's just a really good story. I think you would really enjoy watching that. Next up, we have Joan Crawford and Mildred Pierce. This is a mom who went through um, a rough time raising her daughter. She, um, the daughter's kind of wild and out of control. You don't really get to see much aspect of it, but anyways, I think this right here is a good one that you could check out to see the differences between um, Joan Crawford and her daughter. So speaking of Joan Crawford, we have Mommy Dearest. This right here stars Faye Dunaway as Joan Crawford. Really good story as far as the story that the daughter told about Joan Crawford after she passed. Um, really interesting dynamic between the mother and the daughter and you get to see that kind of Holly, Hollywood life that Joan Crawford lived and how it affected her adopted children. Okay, next up we have Carrie. Carrie had a pretty bad mom. Um, her mom was really strict and religious, didn't really want Carrie getting out and doing the things that she was doing. Carrie, of course, had a power that the mom did not um, fully understand and um, you can see how this film ends up between the mom and the daughter. Really good um, thriller type of movie. If you've never seen Carrie, definitely check that one out. Okay, next up we have Stepmom starring Julia Roberts and Susan Sarandon. Um, Really good story, as, as, as it says in the title, Stepmom. So Julia Roberts becomes the stepmom of um, Susan Sarandon's child. And just the dynamic between the two mothers is really good. I really enjoyed this one. Um, if you've never seen Stepmom, that's one that I would definitely recommend. Then we have this film called Mermaids, starring Cher. It's got Winona Ryder in it, and it's got... Um, Christina Ricci and it also as the two daughters. Really good story. This right here is Cher playing the mom, as you can tell, who is pretty um, unorthodox in the way that she raises her daughters. Um, really fun story. Highly recommend you check this one out. Another film starring Cher is this one called Mask. Now this right here is the story of Rocky Dennis and Cher plays his mom and um, and the struggles that she goes through. She is a, she seems to be a little um, of a different type of mom, but either, even though she's a different type of mom than what you generally see in movies or TV shows, she really cares about her son. She cares about his condition and she doesn't want anything going on that will interfere with Rocky Dennis being happy. So really good story. Another one that I really enjoy is Terms of Endearment. This right here stars Deborah Winger and Shirley MacLaine. Um, Shirley MacLaine plays Deborah Winger's mom. She's another one that's a little bit different, a little bit protective at the beginning when the um, when the um, daughter is younger, and then as that protection 
um, continues on as the daughter grows and gets married and has a family of her own. Um, really good story. Another good one with a really good ending. I uh, definitely ha I highly recommend you check that one out. And the last one is about a few moms. We have Still Magnolias starring Sally Field who plays Julia Roberts' mom. Really good story. Um, I really enjoyed this one. It's a, it's a drama. Got a lot of comedy in it. Um, it's got different types of women in this story. If you've never seen Still Magnolias, this is another one I would highly recommend you check out. So those are 10 films that I think that you would enjoy, um, that you may actually have some of these in your collection. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about these particular moms and these particular films. And also give me some other suggestions of other films with moms that you think I should check out because I really do enjoy your, your recommendations. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.